Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Everbloom dungeon, where we are in Draenor. And we're going to be breaking out of bounds, and I'm going to be showing you the surrounding area. Now, a couple points of interest in this video are going to be Stormwind City, quote-unquote somewhat Westfall, <laughs> and a little bit of Elwyn Forest. Now, to perform this glitch, it's very simple. All the credit goes to After X, as he was the one to get this bounty first. If you guys have not also joined the Discord for ATN, I highly recommend you do. We've been having a lot of fun in there. Everybody's having a good time. We've just been posting memes, we've been hanging out and doing OOB things. So we're building a huge World of Warcraft community in there. Come join, all the links are in the description of the video. Now, a couple announcements coming up. I am gonna be hosting another gnome run. Well, not a gnome run, but a hardcore death run. I'll have more details to follow in that uh, coming up in the next few weeks. Also gonna be doing a merch giveaway competition so what i want to do is i want to hold a contest for merch i want to sell t-shirts and hoodies and all that i am not super artistic when it comes to creating art and drawings and designs so i am looking for someone to create a t-shirt a hoodie poster whatever you want to come up with with the best merch design to use uh, i definitely want to be using the atn logo and the banner so I'm going to be holding a contest to um, basically whoever wins, I will be using their design to use on the uh, the merch, but I'll also be giving them free merch and I'm going to be giving them another prize. I don't know exactly what that prize is yet, but I will be announcing that soon as well. So more details to follow. Anyways, let's get back to the video. I want to thank After for this. He's an awesome dude. Thank you, After. So where I'm at in the Everbloom dungeon is way up here in is there zero tax burrow i think that's how you say it <laughs> i'm horrible with names you guys know i'm not a big name person not really good at pronouncing it now if you come over here in the very corner you're gonna hit a wall um and it's very simple to get out of all you got to do is just place a toy down so we're gonna place our first toy right here and there we go we're past the first wall now we do need to come up here because we're gonna be hitting another wall again not right here but way up here if you place a pillow directly in front of you you should be able to get out right here there we go we are officially out of the everbloom now just forewarning if you come all the way up here you cannot come back down unless you do another pillow you're gonna hit a wall just like that and there you go we're officially out of the everbloom dungeon isn't that awesome i love the music in here i love the ambience i love the vibe it's so great so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be jumping straight down here. And you can see they did leave some of Gorgon on the side over there on the left. Now the whole side of this map and that side of that map is all explorable. So go have fun. What we're focused on today is way over there in the distance. So we're going to jump down here. And as you can see... There's not too much down here. We are in a voided, untextured space here. There is some, you know, plants and flowers and all that over here. Which is really cool to see, but that's not where we're here today. We can go check it out real quick. The Everbloom is a very pretty dungeon, I do have to say. So as you can tell, all of this is fully rendered out here. There's trees and plants. Now, why they put this here, I have no idea out of all the places they just randomly put here. I'm assuming it's because you can see outside this side of the map. So they're trying to cover it up as much as possible. I don't know. That, that, that's my guess. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go run across this whole terrain here. It takes a long time to journey over there. So I'm going to end the video right here. And we're going to pick back up here in just a second. So I'll be right back. All right, we are officially back in the Everbloom. I just crossed that whole terrain, the really boring part of the video. <laughs> it's really just me running out in the middle of nowhere, seeing nothing. So I wanted to save you guys the boredom of that. Now we have made it to the backside of Stormwind, which is really awesome. And what's really cool seeing here is that you can kind of get a 
view of the great sea out here that you normally can't come out to because it's normally fatigue. Um, and we're actually still in fatigue, so we actually need to head back out real quick. There we go. I just want to reset. And then we're going to run towards this way. So we're going to head out this way first. The reason being is over here is Westfall, quote unquote. So we're going to head out this way and we're going to go over to Westfall. Now, the Everbloom's music is one of my favorite music in the whole game. So I love the soundtrack in this dungeon. I hope you guys can hear that in the background. I think it's awesome. Maybe a little too loud, but it's beautiful music. And you can hear me trottling along in the water. So my mount's doing a lot of water effect sounds. All right, so here we go. We are getting to quote unquote Westfall out here. And let's go explore Westfall first. I'm super excited. Let's do this. As we make it to the coast of Westfall here, you can see the shipwreck that's still out here now i believe this is old westfall i don't think this is retail westfall in the cataclysm version i think this is old school westfall which makes this even more fun let's go take a look at the ship now there is not too many death walls out in this dungeon like i said before which is really awesome so we're pretty much free to explore other than, I mean, there's certain parts of Stormwind we can't actually adventure to because we will die. So let's go walk around here. And you can see the ship is fully rendered and it is walkable. And you can go inside of it as well. Which is really awesome. As you can tell, some of the murloc stuff is still here on the back side of the campfire. And some of the shipwreck out here is, is also here as well. And you can kind of get a better look of the back side of Westfall here. Not too much going on back there, but it is really cool to see still. We're going to make our way up this way. And I'm going to mute myself for a moment and let you guys kind of soak in the ambience and atmosphere of the place. Now, unfortunately, they don't keep too much out towards this way, like Moonbrook or anything like that. So you can't get to Dead Mines, which kind of sucks. That would have been awesome if they would have kept that in the game. But there is a cave over here that they do keep, uh, which we passed it up on accident. And here goes actually a graveyard. So we can come in here and you can actually walk fully into the cave. And it will render like we're in a cave, so it does actually act like we're in here, and the music does change, which is really creepy. But the cave is explorable. You can go through the whole thing. And if you guys remember, in this cave, you do the quest where you're actually hidden inside of a crate in the back all the way over here. Normally, you'd be in a crate, like, right around here, and you would listen to a, a pep talk from the Deadmine bosses, and then eventually Vanessa Van Cleef shows up, but you don't know that's actually her. Or supposedly you're not supposed to know that's her. But that's really awesome. You can go through the whole cave. So they did keep this cave out here. 
Now, why they kept certain parts of Westfall and not others, I don't know why. I don't get the decision behind that. I'm assuming it's just because of how far you can actually see with the map rendered distance from the Everbloom portal once you get to the boss. But we're going to head back out here. Oops. We're going to mount back up on one of our favorite mounts, as always. And we're going to continue our journey through Westfall. So let's keep going. All right, so I actually lied. <laughs> I thought this wasn't retail, but it is because the flight path is right here, which normally it's not in the normal vanilla version of Westfall. So the Griffin is out here. So this, this is the retail version, unfortunately. And the home is fully functional. And you can actually head into the barn as well. Oh, you can just walk through the pillar here. Okay. Alright, we're gonna head back out. Let's go continue our adventure in Westfall over here. Alright, we're gonna go cross over to... This little farm over here, where you actually enter into Westfall itself, and you do the famous detective quest of asking all the homeless Westfall citizens if they've seen what happened. And this room is still rendered and fully going as well. And there's actually a picture of the old Thousand Needles, so that's cool. All right, let's head back out here. And let's go make our way straight into Ellen Forest. Let's jump on top of this rock real quick. All right, let's go take our way into Ellen Forest. Let's go cross the infamous bridge going into it. As you can see, there's no water out here. It's fully gone and unrendered. Now I did check. Um, there is no hogger back there, unfortunately. <laughs> and his place isn't there either, but you can go into these buildings here. And the music does change, so it does know that we're actually in the building. And the other building over here is fully rendered as well. Ah, there goes the Elwyn forest music. Oh, now storm one. Okay. And you can go down the basement, which usually you're, you can't go into basements in OB, so it's pretty rare, actually. But you can see there's nothing in here. But everything is here. Which is pretty awesome. But we're gonna go ahead back out and let's go ahead back upstairs and let's go see what we can take a look at. Holy city. Oh, no. <laughs> that was my best impression of doing the Stormwind music. I was serenading my wife because she's right next to me. All 
All right, here goes a bridge. As you can see, that's cut off completely. Mm -hmm. So there isn't too much left of Elwyn Forest out here, unfortunately. I wish they would have kept a lot of more. It'd be cool to see a full version of like Elwyn Forest and Dustwood in the back. And I don't know, I just wish they would have kept a little more out of these OOB here. They had so much space to work with. They could have just loaded an Elwyn Forest in the background. Now we are coming to Goldshire, but Goldshire is gone. So that's really sad to see. Normally this is where Goldshire would be, over here. But it is completely empty. Now here you go. We are officially in Goldshire. Which is weird. Kind of get a backside view. Nothing too much out there, but pretty awesome to see. All right. Let's go start making our way into Stormwind. Now, this is going to be the tricky part of the OOB because we need to be careful. There's a lot of death walls out here. Um, if you go directly into the trade district, especially in Stormwind, he will die a lot. So we got to kind of keep our way on the backside to the right. And I'm going to show you guys a better way to get into Stormwind. But let's go check out this little hut up here first. Usually this is where the alchemy trainer is. You can see that everything is rendered. So everything's fully there. Now I'm going to show you a good way to get into Stormwind without having to die, essentially. And... and this is a fully rendered Stormwind, by the way. So everything is here. The Dwarven District, the portals uh, to everything, like stockades, the deep run tram, like everything's there. So it's really awesome. All right. So what you're going to want to do is when you come over to the gate here, you're going to want to get up here and then get up here. And you can tell the Stormwind music does play. So we are officially in Stormwind City. And you can tell all the water is gone, which is really awesome. Let's get a screenshot here, because that's a really cool shot. All right, so what you're going to want to do is make your way over here. And then you're just going to want to fly around the mountain here. And you'll just barely make it. There we go. And you can make your way into the city over here where the flight master is usually. And this way we can't die, so. And we can mount up, which is really awesome. So, let's go into Stormwind. Let's go check out a fully empty Stormwind for our place. So, you want to avoid the trade district at all costs. Don't go into that area. You will die. So, come up here to right here. And just fly over the rooftops here. And make your way out this way. And there we go. We should be okay over here. Let's go into Old Town. Now, like I said before, everything is out here. All the shops. No NPCs, unfortunately. But everything is rendered here. And you can even use the mailbox if you want to. <laughs> so if you want to send mail from a storm when that's not populated, this is your time. All the target dummies are gone, but you can go in all the homes. Now normally the underground of houses, like I mentioned earlier, are usually untextured or not rendered or they're blocked, so they are, you are able to go out here, which is really awesome.
Everything is here and intact. You can't go upstairs, so let's go check out up here. I think, I believe it is a dead end. Yeah. Now, what's really awesome about this storm wind is all the water is unloaded. So normally you can't walk in here because of the water being here. We can get up this way. And I think what's also awesome is normally you're not supposed to get certain places because of the boundary walls. But because we're already out of bounds, I don't think any of that is loaded as well. But we can actually jump across the rooftops here. But you can do that in retail as well, but... Let's go take a look at the Stormwind Castle and the keep. Now, it would be kind of fun if we did saw the uh, sewer beasts swimming around here. You know, the NP the rare NPC spawn. Let's go take a look into Stormwind Keep. It does know we're in the building, so we do get dismounted. But everything is here, for the most part. And loaded in. I was hoping to maybe find a test model out here, because a lot of times Blizzard will hide test stuff out in the middle of nowhere in OOBs. Kind of like in Deep Home. Alright, let's go make our way back this way. And let's go jump out here. Now this is really strange. It's weird not seeing all the water out here. And Deathwing's not hanging out here either on his... Deathwing's, you know, his uh, scale or whatever usually hanging right there. But all the portals are usually here to Vashir and Oldham. We are in the middle of that. Now, I don't know what version of Stormwind this is. This is an older version because this is not retail Stormwind. There's no graveyard. There's no... The music... Is this, the music's the same, but... Everything's placed differently. So I don't know what version of Stormwind this actually is. Someone knows. All right, we finally made it to the Dwarven District. So as you can see, all the the guild, the banks here, and you can actually access your your guild bank if you wanted to as well, which is really crazy. But I'm not in a guild at the moment. And the auction house is fully rendered. There's no auctioneers. And let's go take a look and see if the Deep Run Tram entrance is here, which I believe it is. Yep, it is here. 
Look at that. You can walk straight. Oh, I thought you could walk straight through. Okay. Close, though. Close. You know, I'm really curious if the glitch works. For uh, Stormwind still. Like, if you can still go through the walls and stuff. Let's take a look over here. There's a glitch right in the corner here. Yeah, it should. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it does. That is awesome. So we are OO bead in OO bead. Like OO beception. What the heck? No. And we got stuck. Dang it. <laughs> I just wanted to see if that would work. Which it did. And I think we can get out though. Can we get out? Maybe not. Well, I think I just ended my video here. <laughs> I wanted to see if it was here. But you guys get the point. All of Stormwind is here. We are currently stuck at the moment. So I'm going to have to either hearth out or kill myself with a bonfire. But anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. That is the Everbloom dungeon. There is a lot to explore out here. So definitely come take a look. It's a lot of fun to see. Um, as always, guys, thank you for all the support, the love for the channel. You guys are awesome and amazing. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers, which is blowing my mind. And I'm just super excited to see where all things nerd goes in the future. So I just want to say thank you guys. As always, my name is Nathan. Have a good night. Take care.